Hi everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm going to be journaling in the book of Psalms and I'm going to be using some masking fluid. Specifically, I'm going to be using this masking fluid pen here. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to try to find an Amazon link for it and put it in the description box below for you. But basically, this is masking fluid inside and it has a tip kind of like a felt tip, but it's one of those that you can pump in and out to get the ink or the substance flowing inside. This is my other masking fluid that I have. It's a Winsor & Newton watercolor masking fluid. And this one I do have a link for down below. And this one you just use a paintbrush and stick it in there and write with the paintbrush. So masking fluid, think of it as liquid masking tape. And we're going to jump right in and I'll show you how it works. So I've been slowly but surely making my way through the book of Psalms in this particular journaling Bible. So I've wanted to kind of do each page throughout the book of Psalms here. And so I'm making my way through it slowly but surely. And today I'm landing on this page. I've already journaled on this side of the page, wait in silence with this tip in here. I will link this video up in this corner of the screen so that you can click on it and go watch it. It's so interesting when you journal in your Bible, you remember kind of where you were at and what the Lord was speaking to you while you were journaling. So today, even though I'm journaling on this side of the Bible, I'm going to be journaling a verse that is found over here in Psalm 61. And it's the second half of verse two, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my calligraphy paper that I found at a thrift store and I'm going to go ahead and make myself just a quick little template because I want to put the words lead me to the rock that is higher than I in the margin here. So now that I've made myself a little template, and you could certainly use just normal graph paper or even lined paper to do this, I'm going to decide where I want to put it in my Bible. And I may just go over this in a darker pen so that I can see it easier. So I'm pretty sure this isn't going to show up very well on camera, but I can actually see through this to trace it into my Bible now. I am going to go ahead and start with pencil in case there's anything once I get it in the Bible that I want to shift around or change. Okay, there we go. So it's sketched in. I know that's kind of hard to see, but the next step is I'm going to go over it in pen with the exception of the word rock. This is where the masking fluid is gonna come into play. So this masking fluid shows up light blue on the page. I'm just gonna pump it a couple times over here and you can see it's kind of shiny and blue. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna dry and then later I'll be able to peel it off. And I have an idea in my head and we're gonna see if it works. And actually before I do this, I'm gonna erase the word rock just to where I can barely see it so that the pencil marks will be gone before I put this fluid on. So there's the word rock and I was going to leave some spaces underneath it that are also not going to be colored. And I'm going to be filling those areas in with little flowers and grasses and things like that. So I'm going to let that dry and in the meantime, go ahead and go over my lettering one more time with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. And I think I'm going to use this blue color for the writing on this page. You might remember I was just at a women's retreat and one thing that I'm thinking about as I'm journaling this morning lead me to the rock that is higher than I is just the silent time, the time of solitude that I had with the Lord. It's just 
priceless. When we go to the rock, he's higher than we are. And when we go to him, he is faithful and he is there. He wants to have a conversation with us and share things with us, deep things that we wouldn't think of on our own. And I'm just really excited. I have some next steps to take ministry-wise, personal stuff, things that he really spoke to me about while I was praying and reading the word, being silent, worshiping, creating some art. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. He's so faithful. That image of a rock too makes me think about an anchor. And I think that, you know, we're supposed to build on a firm foundation. And I think that rock is a symbol of protection and also an anchor that we can really hold on to. And at the bottom here, I'm just adding the verse reference for myself, Psalm 61 2, with a little whoop de doo arrow to remind myself it's over on this page. So anytime I watercolor in my Bible, I always protect the page under it with a piece of cardboard or paper. And then I've got a piece of scratch paper here underneath my watercolors. I'm choosing to use my Kurataki watercolors. They're the ones that come in this fancy green box and I'm choosing to use them because they have quite the array of kind of neutral colors to go over the masking fluid with and create the shape of a rock. Okay, a great thing about a rock is that you can't really mess that up. So I think what I'm going to do first is go ahead and just make an outline of this rock just so I kind of know where I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and go off the edge of the page here. And when I do that, I like to force the paint to go off the edge and not just sit on the edge because it has a tendency to wanna travel around the edge of the page. And sometimes I'll even scoot that edge of cardboard away from the page. Anything to kind of keep the color from going on the back of this page is always a good thing. Just going in with a mix of dark brown, light brown, black. Watercolors always dry lighter than they are when you first put them on. I think I'm just gonna kind of, again, establish my light sources coming from this direction and keep kind of the darker colors on this side of the rock. The great thing is that you can't mess up a rock. They're all shaped differently and it's kind of a win-win situation here. <laughs> so I wanted to just make sure the rock was big enough to cover that masking fluid because when I peel that up it's going to be white and so I don't want it to kind of go into the rest of the page. I think I might add just kind of the hint of a blue sky up here just for fun. Again, if you get anywhere on your paper that has just a little too much moisture, just dab it with your paper towel and it'll pick up some of that moisture and some of that color. Don't panic when you see things from the other side of the page showing through. When it's wet, it will show up like that and then later when it dries, it's gonna be just fine. Okay, now that that is completely dry, and that's really important to do, is make sure this is completely dry. I'm gonna use my finger just like an eraser, and I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this masking fluid. And as it comes off, it kind of turns into little eraser crumbs. I'm gonna go in with a dark brown pit pen here on the word rock. What I might do is go ahead and just spray with some water to kind of loosen these colors up a little bit so that they're ready to go. So I've just gone in with some light, medium, and dark green there to get the 
color of the grass and the leaves for my flowers. And I don't need it to be 100% dry before I add the flowers in. I just want to, as I add flowers, I don't want the green to kind of bleed right into where I want my flowers to be. And I'm definitely not really drawing flowers. I'm just kind of dabbing color on and it's just going to give the illusion of flowers and that's really just fine with me. That's just about all I need. Yeah, so now I've got more of a lavender and then I'm going to be sure to water it down a little bit because remember the more water you use, the lighter your watercolor becomes. There you go. If you're nervous about trying watercolors in your Bible, feel free to do it in a sketchbook. You can also test it on the back pages of your Bible like this to just kind of see how you feel about how it's working. So jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you. I hope that you try out watercolors in your Bible, maybe even some masking fluid. Find me over on Facebook because Jesus Bible Journaling. Find me on Etsy because Jesus Bible Art. Be sure you hit the subscribe button here on this channel and click that little bell icon next to it so you always get notified when I post a new video.